Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Gamester81. Uh, it just dawned on me actually today that I had celebrated my one year of making videos here on YouTube. So I want to put together a really quick video here to thank you guys for your guys' continued support. I had no idea uh, when I posted my video back on March 15th of 09 that I have close to 6,000 subscribers a year later. Uh, huge thank you to everyone. I mean, this is amazing. Uh, I, I encourage those who are just getting started or have been doing it for a while. Uh, just keep doing what you're doing, you know, it, as long as you're, you're passionate about what you're doing, it's going to show off in your videos. So don't stress about subscribers, I definitely, it's not a number, it's just a number to me. Uh, I do it for fun. So, but I do, I know I've got a lot of requests from people, hey, I want to see your game room. Now, by all means, guys, by all means, guys my game room is far from complete. I, I've been kind of unpacking stuff here and there. Uh, but I will show you just a quick tour of what I've got set up so far. Uh, but keep in mind, keep in mind that it's not what I have envisioned for the bigger picture when it's completed. So when that is done, I will be sure to show that to you. But the time being, let's take a closer look at what I've got set up so far. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, guys. So we're here. We are in my game room. This is my loft. Um, I got the poker table. I'm a huge Texas Hold'em fan. I've got a couple posters I still need to put up. This is from Nintendo Power back in the day. I've got a ton of Nintendo Powers. Um, those are just random board games, Hero Quest, and I did a review on that on my other channel, Nostalgia Holic. If you guys are interested, if you guys remember seeing Hero Quest growing up, but uh, these are essentially my, my game systems. This isn't everyone set up yet? Got, starting from the Odyssey one, as Atari Video Music, which is really rare. I did a review on that. That is, uh, let's see here, what else we got? The Studio Two, Nintendo Game Fifteen. A lot of these I've already done reviews on. This is my Bally Home uh, Library computer, which is super rare. For it was only available in mail order, uh, initially f for shipments and stuff. So Odyssey 2 with voice module, it's really hard to see it's up top there. Hi. Got my ColecoVision with Atari attachment up top there is the Arcadia. Several Intellivisions. Go back down, I got the two Nintendos with the top loader, twin Famicom, Famicom Disk Drive. This is my SG1002. Down to an which, two and one, which is a really cool system. Plays both ColecoVision games and Commodore uh, ColecoVision games and Sega SG One Thousand games. Pardon me. Uh, Vectrix, one of my favorite systems. These are all my Atari systems that I have. That's my uh, Starpath Supercharger, which is cool. Attached to that one. A couple of Intellivision clones. This whatever systems. Uh, Sega Master System. Three hundred. Uh, this is the Action Max. A lot of people request to see that. Maybe I'll do a video on that soon. MSX computer. M MX10 version. This is a Turbo Graphics with the CD attachment. Uh, Turbo Duo. Super Graphics. This is the uh, Shuttle PC um, engine, which is pretty rare. PC engine. All my Genesis. I did a view, review on those. This is uh, Super Famicom, Famicom Junior. Super Nintendo 2, Super Nintendo 1. This is my Amstrad. Horrible system, but it's, it's hideous too. It's, a, it's an English system. Hold back down here. This is my Ve Vector uh, Saturn right there. The 4 meg uh, expansion. These are all my handhelds. Like I said, guys, these are, I know it looks really unorganized, but I will have it organized, trust me. I just want to show you what I got. My Nintendo 64 DD. Nintendo 64. I've got the faceplate somewhere here. This is my CDI. This is a this a um, Nuon system, Pioneer uh, Laser Active, which plays Genesis games. Pretty sweet. I'll take this flag with that. This is a Loopy. All my handhelds, Amiga, CD32, which never released in the states, and my 3DOs, Super Famicom Box, which is pretty rare, and the MS M82, which I just reviewed. Uh, now, in case you're wondering where I keep my games, I do have a lot of games, more games obviously than systems. I own about 1,500 games. They're all in these these drawers here. So these are my like retro games right here, Atari, you know, uh, Adam computer games. I do this because uh, to keep them from getting dusty. Those are my Nintendo, Nintendo games. More Nintendo games. Mm -hmm. So every one of these drawers is just full to the brim of just games. I plan on organizing the alphabetical. I just haven't time. Super Nintendo the Genesis. There's a whole bunch of games in there. Let's see here. Super Nintendo games. Super Graphics 16. You know, again, these are all just full 
CDI, uh, GameCube, Saturn, Sega CD, 3DO games. This is uh, more of the uh, more modern games. All my handhelds, DS games. I got more DS games than that. They're just stowed away. This is in this bottom drawer here is where I keep all my Nintendo powers. I got uh, a lot of the Nintendo powers back, retro ones. I'm going to review those on my other channel, Nostalgia Holic, in case you guys are curious. Uh, I picked up this TV right here at the Goodwill. It's an old school TV. It says $15 as a price tag, and I paid seven bucks for it. I just wanted an old school TV to hook up to like my old systems, like the Atari and stuff. So I thought that was kind of cool. This thing to make noise is. Uh, my uh, cocktail arcade, which is cool. It's got a whole bunch of games, 39 games in one. In fact, you know, it's really loud. The fan is ridiculous on this thing. i turn that on, but it, it plays perfectly, so it's pretty cool. This is my Bud Light sign, which is cool. <laughs> you, love it. you have to, every game is not complete without a Bud Light sign. This is my uh, Ultima Arcade 2 setup. I've got three more arcades down the garage. I just need to move up here. We got more arcade or game systems here. This is uh, Pippin, Funtic Acon, Acan, uh, Jaguar CD with CD attachment. Uh, you know Neo Geo. This is the Neo Geo CDZ, which is a great system as well. This is uh, you know the uh, Panasonic Q, which is uh, which is awesome. And this is a Dreamcast, which is sweet. Which is a, basically, it's a, it's a Dreamcast with a built-in screen, which is it's a really rare. It plays all regional Dreamcast games as well. Some, some movies, these are my, my, my Star Trek movies. I've got every season on DVD. Uh, and then I've got like Quantum Leap and all these different shows. Battlestar Galactica, I love the sci-fi shows. Baseball, basketball signed by the old school Sonics back in 1995. More seasons and stuff. Star Wars, all my Star Wars movies and stuff. Let's check out my computers real quick. Lighting in here isn't quite as good, but that's the Commodore uh, SX64, which is a portable Commodore, which is really neat. Uh, Texas Instruments TI-99, uh, Atari 400, a VIC computer, Commodore, different Commodore computers. This is my Amiga 500 in box. Up to see, this is the Aquarius. There is my uh, lonely virtual boy. <laughs> Here's a Mac SE computer. Let's play that. This one I grew up on pretty much. My Atom computer, which is a Coleco, and it's got that not only plays Coleco Vision games, it plays tape cassettes, which is awesome. Uh, I've been playing Don Kong, Don Kong and Don Kong Jr. And they play really well. They got all the cutscenes and stuff on it too. I paid thirty dollars for that com computer. It's pretty rare, so I was happy about that. Fine. And I also have a Miracle Piano for Nintendo, which is an awesome unit. One of my best favorite add-ons I have for Nintendo. Did a review a little bit while back, not people have seen it, but uh, it's an interesting unit for sure. So all my boxes and stuff for my, my uh, consoles that I own are actually down in the garage. So uh, it's too hot down there to go right now. But thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate you guys' support. Until next time, this is Game 31. Take care. Bye-bye.